Good day from Kamakura, Japan, on this Thursday, September 15th. It's 20 degrees, very cool, nice breeze blowing. You know, a little cloudy though, kind of dark out here, it's a little hard to see. But uh, going up to a high of 27 today, so it should be cool. Perfect weather to do some garden cleanup. Well, let's get going. My goodness, look at this mess. Well, like I said, I'm going to leave the eggplant. But uh, everything else will go. Better put my gloves on. Well, I accidentally pulled up two, well, just one, one and a half plants here. Still has a good root system. Maybe I should replant it, huh? I got one good uh, eggplant out of it. This one here is uh, still coming along. So, since it has a good root system still, I'm going to replant it right here. At first, I want to tie these up. Some more flowers coming in here. See those? No, oh, hopefully we'll get some more fruit. Well, let's see what we can do here. Oops. Oh, hopefully that will grow back nice and strong. Stake in here. Hey, you might notice the uh, cicadas are gone. Just the sounds of crickets. And they get very loud at night, but it's a pleasant sound. Very easy to sleep listening to that sound. For sure, next year I'll have to replace these ties here. And that should get me through the winter. Yeah, the last time I was out here, last Saturday, I got uh, smeared with some sort of poison ivy or something. And uh, my skin swelled up. It wasn't terribly itchy, as long as I left it alone and didn't scratch it. So this is uh, about four or five days later, and uh, yeah, looking a little better. This happened down on the lower garden. Yeah, I want to make use of this corner here, so I want to get this cleaned up. Loosen the soil a little bit. as many of these roots as I can. Backfill here. Never ending battle with these roots. So oh, that looks a lot better. Well, I have some black soil here to amend the soil in this bed. Yeah, recently I was chatting with uh, Sam, Sam Valentine, and uh, we were talking about how the garden might be depleted of nutrients. Last winter and into the spring I had cabbages and uh, the hoxai and broccoli. And then this year the zucchini and the eggplant. So it's probably time for some soil amendment. <laughs>
your soil amendment here. Maybe I'll grow something here, maybe carrots or something. Yeah, we're getting some rain this weekend, so those nutrients will soak down into the soil. So hopefully all of the nutrients that were sucked up by these plants, all of these unwanted plants, will go back into the compost pile here and I can reapply it to the bed, upper and lower. Yeah, these uh, watering lines here, I can save these and use these uh, in the fall winter and next spring. So we're done here. I've got four eggplant that I've salvaged. Hopefully we'll get some more fruit. It was nice to get that other one. And we've got another one coming in here. I'll decide what to plant over here a little later, as well as here. I may do the carrots on the perimeter, not bunch them up like I did last time. Mess that up a bit. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it works here. We'll get plenty of sunshine uh, into the afternoon. Well, till about noon or so, going into the fall. But that should be plenty. Yeah, it's nice to see everything cleaned up. A little compost pile going here. That which I did down below, this compost pile over here, once things clear up, I'll go down and uh, transfer everything up to this pile up here. There's no need to be going way down there to get compost. Yeah, there will be a lot of biomaterial from the lower garden. Over here, our uh, papaya is doing well. Maybe another fruit coming in there. We did lose one, but we've got two coming in and possibly a third. Yeah, our fennel uh, looks like it's about to dry up. That'd be nice. It's nice to chew on fennel. Just pop it into your mouth. It's a nice breath freshener. And we've got a few more of the okra coming in. And when you look at this, <laughs> I've got a, another potato coming in. I'm going to plant some more. Uh, maybe I'll put some more potatoes over on this side as well. Very good. I'll do this clean up a little later on. No hurry. And I do need to transplant my pineapple before it gets too cool. It loves hot weather. So when you look at my golden trumpet bush, <laughs> finally it's awakened. So not much going on in the lower garden. So I'll wait and clean that up some other time. Except we do have uh, some a tomato there. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go down and pick that. And the birds have had enough. It's cracked, but that's okay. And this one here, this has been bored into. But the rest of it looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. What the heck? Yeah. Already any more? Yeah, there's one more here. Oh, two more here. We'll see what happens with those. Okay, while I'm here... Let me check and see if there's anything I may have missed last time I was down here. I do see an eggplant forming there, so I'll come back and check on that later. And like I say, we'll come and do this cleanup in a couple weeks. And I don't see anything else happening down here. I can use the soil from these bins uh, in my compost pile, so that won't be a waste. Next year I'm going to get new bins for planting. These are about 15 years old, 15, 16 years old. So they're well past their due date. Okay, so we're done down here, even though the watermelon is still flowering. <laughs> Maybe it'll surprise me come late October. We'll see. There's a volunteer tomato plant down here. Give me at least two tomatoes. We'll come back and check on that a little bit later. Very good, very good. Okay, I'll come clean up the mint and all of that a little bit later as well. So, <laughs> a late harvest of eggplant and two tomatoes. Very good, very good. Let's go inside and see what's happening in there. A lot of good stuff going on inside. Yeah, I'm very happy with what's happening in here. Yeah, you can see everything's growing very nicely. Yeah, the broccoli is growing very nice and the hoxai is looking good as well. And up here, our arugula has sprouted. Let me turn this light off so you can see the true light. It's a little dark in there, but hopefully you can see it. Yeah, our arugula has sprouted nicely. Our spinach is coming up. And over here, our coriander, not yet. Yeah, let me put the light back on. Yeah, these will go out to be planted in a couple days. 
Yeah, over here you can see our potatoes have sprouted very nicely. I'll be planting these this weekend. They've come up very nicely, look at that. Okay, everything else is curing nicely. Butternut squash, the pumpkins, and the field pumpkin. So this morning I'm making a blueberry almond coffee cake. And I've already pretty much put it all together here. I'll leave a link down below so that you can figure out how to make it yourself. It's from this channel, How to Feed a Loon. These two guys are hilarious. Let me show you just a little bit of it here. Oh, there you go. Yay! Chris! Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm cutting right. you a slice. It's wonderful. Oh! That is a coffee cake to remember. So, this is ready to go in the oven. And it goes. Okay, let's see if this is ready. I always put a uh, baking sheet over top so that the top doesn't burn. Alrighty. Oh, nice. So far, so good. Looks good. Okay, I want to have a quick taste. Let's cut into this. Okay, it looks pretty good, huh? Let's tuck in. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Still a bit warm. Success. Well, I've got another treat ready to come out of the oven. This is a caramel brownie dish with walnuts inside. And I've got some extra caramel that I've reserved. Well, this is what the brownie looks like after a couple hours in the fridge. It's been chilled. Let me cut a piece, take this smaller piece. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some uh, walnuts in the center here and little pockets of caramel. Mm, very good. So it turned out very well, my caramel brownie with walnuts.